G'day. So this is the app that you get for Android for the Alpha ESS S5 Storian Eco Battery Storage System. And what it tells you, this is actually a snapshot uh, of the totals for since the in installation of the system. And this section here, PV generation, is how much power, how many kilowatts the solar panels have brought in since they've been installed. And then it tells you on the left side here where it says feed in, how many kilowatts have been exported to the grid from what you've captured uh, through your solar panels. And then the right side here, self consumption, how much of that 20, uh, 2024 kilowatts have you actually used? So this customer here has used 61.5% and that is 1,246.1 kilowatt hours. Now keep in mind this is just what the solar panels have brought in and this is not what the battery has stored and what the house has used. Uh, well yes this is what the house has used but as a, as a percentage to see how much the house has used versus uh, of solar versus what it has brought in from the grid, we look down here. And so the total load consumption here is uh, 1,402 kilowatts since the system has been installed. And you can see that this particular house is nearly 90% uh, efficient, meaning that it between the solar and the batteries, the consumption of the household has been 88.9% coming from the sun, from the solar panels and what's stored in the batteries. And only, they've only bought from the grid 11.1%. So they've only bought in 155 kilowatts or nearly 156. So you can see from this graph that the system is producing far more than what the household needs. However, what you can't see from this graph are the times when they have needed to buy power from the grid and these times which do appear on a different graph that you can see uh, on the on the website on the Facebook page and I'll do another video of that um, it shows the peaks and the troughs uh, over days and nights when there may be clouds or storms or high consumption through the summer or a combination of factors uh, which need to be supplemented from from the grid but this uh, is a really simple graph once you understand how to read it and remember this top section here is what you've exported to the grid from what you've captured in the solar panels and this is what you have consumed as a percentage of what you have brought in from the solar panels so yeah to see what your efficiency is or your effectiveness is on your entire system. This figure here, the PV consumption, this is what you want to be looking for down the bottom. Uh, it does get a little bit confusing, self-consumption and PV consumption. Again, that is your solar array that does not include uh, any power that's been bought in from the grid or doesn't. it doesn't calculate what the house is using that's where this load consumption figure comes into into play again this is only what your solar panels have generated so 38.5 percent of what you've generated has gone off into the grid and 61.5 percent has been used and out of that 61.5 percent it has provided 88.9 percent of the household's needs and the balance has been purchased from the grid and that is there 11.1 percent i hope that makes things nice and clear for everybody